most of the time, small things are becoming a weapon of the enemy to destroy us. Small things. You know, if we talk about discouragement, I know discouragement. You must reach a level where people have to discourage you and show you. If people have not shown you that you are going nowhere, they must tell you straight that you, you are stupid. Because remember the Bible said they must revile you. The word revile, it means they must instruct insulting you. The word revile is not talking about cursing you. No, they are instructing you with insults. And show you you don't have a direction. You are stupid. Can you see? You are supposed to be doing this. Look at yourself. It must start very close to you. If it's not happening to you, you are not a Christian. If you have never met that you are not tempted, you must reach a level where people cause you pain. It's not only, only family. Even inside the church. Inside, when now you are supposed to be tempted, I mean tested nicely, it will be done by people inside the church. You have a friend, you are talking together, talking together, the friend. One day that friend will tell you, it's like your life is going away. Let's stop friendship. Have you ever found a friend say, it's like your life is going away, let's stop friendship. Sorry, I don't want to work with you again. Sorry. Have you ever met something like that? You must go through that. If you go through that, I can tell you, you are about to be celebrated. But if you want to be accommodated, always you want people to beat you at the back. Yeah, you are nice. You are whatever. You are. You are, you are whatever. I mean, there has to be a time when you wear clothes. No, what's the word? today. Even when you are walking, you when you are passing, you just hear shame. I'm sure you're hearing what I'm trying to say. So if you are, if any wave takes you there and there, you're not a Christian. You must reach a level where you affect people around you. They must speak to show that there is something in you. I, the last thing that I wanted to tell you is you must love your family. You must love what? Your family. You know, I personally, I know where I come from. I remember one time when what makes me to love people was God. There was a time whereby I was starting this business. And then I didn't know that the person I was starting with in business, he wanted to shoot me. Okay. And uh, God said to me, I must tell my wife, we must leave the business. Because it's after I resign, and I say my wife will carry on with the business. And God spoke with me in the ear leave this business also. But I didn't know the reason. One time when I went to that office of that man who was helping us uh, to do business together, setting it up, already we had offices, you know. God told me when I was going there, this man is having a gun on the chest when I was speaking with him, he would be doing like this and put the hand there. And I look at his face, he would be doing like this. So I heard, when you reach, tell him that you don't want to, be, to do business again. 
I knew this man would shoot me and he would run away. All right. The moment I see it is there, he opened the drawer and he put the hand there. I said, hey, my brother, I've got something to tell you. He said, what? He said, I said, I'm no longer going to do business. You can take everything. He removed that hand. He put it in the hand and closed his eyes. I did like this. I saw a gun there. I said, it's only God that can save our lives from people. Therefore, we must love them. They can't do anything. You saw people can't do anything unless God allowed that. Go and read the Bible. Every man who's called by God is killed by his own shot. Go and read the Bible, you'll find that. Every man who's called by God is killed by what? By his own sword. We are killed by the ways Amen. we speak. If now you, you say this and this, people will judge you by what you said. Amen. Saul was killed by his own sword. So I'm praying today that when you leave from here, you allow your heart to come back. Your heart must do what? You stop worrying. You stop suspecting. You live a holy life. Amen. If you believe, say amen. amen. This will bring courage. Will bring courage. You pray. And you feel like prayer is not going anywhere. You carry on. You pray. 